Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. It has been quite a few days, I think, since I've made a video. And I'm sorry, I've been so busy. I haven't had time to do no videos at all. Just trying to get everything ready for for Sunday. And it's just been one thing after another after another. So, for that, I am sorry I haven't made a video. But I'm back. I am back. I will be making, back to making videos real soon. But before I show you what I'm doing in this video, I'm going to give a little message to my mama. <laughs> mama, if you're watching this, click out. I know you watch some of my videos. Don't watch this video. I mean it. Don't watch this video okay so hold on guys i'm gonna show you what i've been working on okay guys i want to show you what i've been working on uh y'all remember a while back i had a question to ask some of you about paint and painting a lighthouse well i figured it out and I have finished it, and I cannot wait to show y'all what this looks like. It, it it turned out so beautiful. I, you know, and it's so simple, but very pretty. And let me show you what it looks like. Da, 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 da. This is the top part. I used, this comes off like this. I used... Just I went basically went over it. This is a a red color. I repainted the top black because I really like the colors that were on the top, but they were very dull. And you can tell that I've added a varnish to the top of the um, acrylic. I used acrylic paint, and then I, all the windows were white, so I went and painted them black. And I think it makes the windows stand out more with them black. And I stuck with the red and white theme of this lighthouse. Something there. There it goes. And then the little house has just a little... This is kind of like a uh, brick red kind of color. And guys, check out what I did on the bottom. Let me sit down so I can show you what I did on the bottom of this thing. And my mom loves lighthouses, and I have been wanting to do this for a long time, and what better time to do this than for Christmas, right? And this is my first repair, I guess you can say, of something like this, and I think I have found this comes off just like that. And then I even repainted this a little bit. I didn't add any of the varnish because the varnish is still kind of sticky. But by the time Christmas gets here, it'll all be finished. And I took some moss. And this, it's, um, I bought this at first and was going to use this. But... This moss is not really good for this. And the reason why is it is literally like so uh, crumbly. There's no moisture to it at all. Where this moss, see, has the... I made it... This to me kind of represents like bushes. That's the way I wanted it to look. Was more for like a bushes type look. But it's moss. And this, of course, goes all the way around... Just like this along the bottom, all the way around to all the way in the front of the house. And um, then I repainted the doors blue and this, but I repainted this entire thing. <laughs> and broken nails and <laughs> everything to, to, to show for it. Paint on my table. So, you know, this is this is the final outcome of it. If y'all remember, this was like a manila, like a dirty white. I, I couldn't get it clean. I tried just cleaning it to see if that would work. I couldn't get it clean. I could not. And in between these little grooves was caked with dirt. And I, somebody had given this to me. And I was like... 
Okay, well, you know, I'll take it. Maybe I can do something with it. Oh, what is that right there? It looks like. Okay, this has got a little. Okay, there we go. I got. It. I don't want to scratch the paint, and I... this is actually <laughs> flaked moss. Is what this is all over the side. But I guess it gives it character. Oh, I zoomed in by mistake. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But I just stuck with the traditional red and black on the top brick red and then I lined it if you look at the house I lined it in blue and I did the windows all in blue and I think the windows I can use a little spot there I need to fix that but um see things like that that little blue spot right there that bothers me so I gotta fix that but I could probably add a little, little coat of white on there to keep it from kind of bleeding through um but this is the final outcome of the, the lighthouse this thing is made of metal and it is very heavy <laughs> so i think she's gonna like it i think she'll like it a lot it's something she can put on her they have this uh they don't have a fireplace setting like mine where it steps up like that. It's flush to the ground. So this would look good sitting um, by their fireplace, I think. So, and then you put a votive candle up here, which I'll have a fake, uh, one of those ones that use the batteries. Yeah, you just turn it on. But this is the final product of it. Yes, I'm very proud of it. Very, very proud of it. And you can even, like the bottom, I'll show you the bottom of it. I can do it without dropping it. The bottom of it, see, it's even hollow on the bottom so that you can even stick you a candle in there and it'll glow up through here. As a matter of fact, hold on, I'll see if I can find the candle. Hold on, guys. This is what it looks like with the candles in it. I put a candle underneath it. And then I put a candle up here. Tell me what y'all think. I kind of wish it had a little area right here where I could put one there. But, you know, it is what it is, right? So, yeah. That's my final, my final piece. I'm very proud of it. I worked really hard on it. And I think she's going to love it more than it. I could have went out and bought her something and all that. But I think she's going to love this even more. And then what I like about it is when you turn it to close it, because this locks in place, sort of. See, it doesn't come off. I can pull on it, but the windows line up. And I just think this turned out just beautifully. I'm very happy with it. I'm so happy with this. Very proud of it. And I think I found a new passion. Because I really enjoyed painting this. I really, really did. I've gotten a lot of compliments from my husband and my father-in-law of how good it turned out. So, there you go, guys. Tell me what you think. All right. Okie dokie. And on that note, guys, that is it for this video. Um, yeah, that's it for now. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Again, I'm sorry I haven't posted, but I haven't really had anything because I've been working on this for nonstop, I feel like, for days. And I'm finally finished with it. I can rest. I got one more thing I got to make with my, for my mom. And I will show it in another video. See you guys later. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. and All that good stuff. And I hope you guys, if just so happens I don't talk to you before Christmas, 
Y'all have a Merry Christmas. Be safe. Love your family. Keep them close. And, yeah. Y'all have a Merry Christmas if I do not get back on here before then. But I do plan on. So, talk to you guys later. Bye.